Hello friends, how are you doing today? So, one of our friends, uh, Vinod Surveys, um, asked for this video, okay? So this video is for him. And uh, the question was, um, how to create a um, design architecture and how to write a high level design document and uh, how to write low level design document, HLD and LLD, okay? So let me share my experience. Um, if you are working for any organization, the project requirement comes from a business team, right? Uh, who involves with the discussion with the business team? Uh, the project uh, lead, the technical architect, and um, key persons who knows about the system, right? So these people work with the business team to understand the business requirement first, right? So once after collecting the business requirement, uh, the technical architect who is actively involving and knowing more about the system creates a, a document of understanding based on the requirements provided by the business team okay so that is a design document and in the design document he uh, converts the business requirement into a technical term so that the people who are working on the project as like developers technical architect application architect everyone can understand easily okay so this is design document basically and uh, the major components involved in the design document creations are uh, high level design document and low level design document so the technical architect who understands um, the business requirement clearly will create a high level design document so that contains what are all the dependent components of the system that you are going to create right Suppose if you are creating a web application uh, that um, uh, is a, assume that it is a e-commerce web application where the customer logs into the application and then places the order, right? So in the high level design document what uh, you will see uh, a related component diagram uh, that uh, how your system talks to different systems to fulfill your order. For example, when the customer logs into the system and places a product right once after checkout and um, place the order how it talks to the uh, payment system how it talks to the order uh, completion system uh, how the order is delivered to the customer right so these systems um, these systems are dependent systems so the high level design document will have all the dependent systems of your uh, major application that you are going to create okay and uh, it not only talks um, about uh, the dependent system and also high level non-functional requirements of uh, the system that you are going to create like uh, the performance, availability, um, resilience, reliability, uh, how your application is going to handle the high uh, volume uh, during the high volume transaction day, right? So these level of high level of information will be provided in the uh, high level design document okay so who creates this uh, high level design document the technical architect who has more knowledge on the system will create the high level uh, design document or HLD okay so this HLD will be given to the project lead or technical lead who is going to manage a set of uh, developers who is going to build the application on the system okay so the technical lead will receive the high level design document from the technical architect and uh, what he does he uh, gets all his team members the developers and uh, SMEs um, uh, into a room and he discuss about the high level design document explains how the high level design documents relate to the business requirement and how the application development team is going to leverage the high level design document uh, and create a low level design document okay so after getting the inputs from uh, the developers um, and SMEs everyone the application development lead will create a low level design document so what this low level design document contains the low level design document contains a reference number of section which is mentioned in the high level design document and for each section he is going to create a, a logical and functional um, uh, steps for each high level uh, component for example 
the customer logs into the system. So this is a high level uh, design component. And uh, for corresponding to this one, what is the low level design component? We, that document should have the reference to this high level design component. And log into the system is very high level. And what kind of uh, uh, input you are going to get from the customer, username, password, and uh, what is the uh, two-factor authentication that you are going to implement on the login page and uh, what functions you are going to write in the UI level and what functions you are going to write in the uh, middle layer level. So the low level design document or LLD has a reference to the high level design document and uh, it, has, it has the detailed information about how to implement that function. Okay. It may not have the skeleton code, but some people who are really uh, interested on creating this low-level design document in detailed way can include the skeleton level of code for that functionality. Okay, so for each high-level uh, design component, the low-level design document will have its own explanation um, and also the functional level details. Uh, so this low level design document will be completed by the application development lead or technical lead and uh, will be given to the developers. So what the developers will do, they refer this low level design document and start implementing the functionality in their uh, uh, language whatever they are using. Okay? So this is how a design document look like and it uh, gets the input from the business uh, team uh, as a requirement and then uh, the technical architect will create a high level design document about dependent systems and components and it has e sections like for each component and also the high level design document talks about uh, non functional requirement and high level details about non non functional requirement so when it comes to the low level design document or lld the application lead takes that high level design document or hld and creates um, another document that has a reference to each component in the high level design document and uh, each section of the low level design document will have its uh, uh, functionality details uh, on the UI level, middle layer level, back end level and uh, sometimes the low level design document may have the skeleton level of code and this low level design document is created by the application development lead and will be given to the develop, uh, development team or developers so that they can start implementing the code based on the low level design. So hope uh, you might have got a clear understanding of uh, how a design document looks like and how HLD is created, how LLD is created and given to the developer to de develop the code, right? Uh, if you like this video, give a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel to know more about this kind of videos and enjoy your life. Take care, bye.